Francis stood alone in the shade of the eastern tree line and watched as prime examples of this up-and-coming generation, with their inherited titles and endless wealth, behaved atrociously. Hungover and privileged, they mistreated their squires, kicked their valets, and protested incessantly about the heat and churning wind. There seemed to be no end to their complaints and derision. Francis could only wonder how these morally weak boasters might have fared in the taxing elements of the outrimmer, in the heartless sandstorms and the tumultuous cosmons of the desert wasteland in Palestine. It seemed that none of them were truly battle-tested. They were spoiled children with shiny toys, deceived by the greatness they achieved playing in these tourney games. For Francis Whitehall, these tournaments were not games. Every waking moment had become a question of life and death. He had to be grave and attentive, never drunk or rash. His family was dependent on him, on his success.